Hello everybody and welcome back to the Football Betting Series here on YouTube Premier League Edition. We had a perfect weekend last time out and continued a eight-game winning streak in the Premiership. Starting off with Brighton versus Wolves. Brighton dismantled Wolves in comfortable fashion, winning by six goals to nil. Okay, we maybe got a little bit lucky for our half-stake bet on Brentford against Forest at home. It did take a 93rd minute winner for that bet to come in. Bournemouth leads over two and a half. That was done in the first half as Bournemouth managed to trounce their relegation rivals from Yorkshire. And finally, well, maybe another little bit of luck here. Liverpool dominated Spurs in the first half an hour of the game. They're three goals up over that period and we did pull out our profit. Our knees were knocking a little bit as Spurs did come back to draw 3-3 and I was thinking, oh, instead of going four from four, we're going to be pushed on this last selection. But about 10 seconds later... Lucas Moura created a wonderful assist for Liverpool to take the lead, four goals to three. So across that week, we managed to take a profit of £49.60, and our Premier League record for the month is now at 81%. Without further ado, as the calendar ticks over to May, let's make some selections to start this month off. We open today's episode with first place Manchester City playing host to 16th place Leeds United, and the citizens managed to pick up another win, this time away at Craven Cottage against Fulham, where the Londoners did put up a good fight, but ultimately did fall by two goals to one. City managed to pick up another win, and became league leaders for the first time in ten weeks. The citizens continue their streak of 18 matches unbeaten. Domestically, Manchester City are scoring 2.6 goals per game, and creating 3.6 key chances per 90, defensively conceding just shy of one goal per game with 10 clean sheets in 32 league matches. Things are looking pretty dark for the away side leads, as they did lose by four goals to one against Bournemouth in their most recent fixture. This does mean that Leeds have failed to pick up a single win in their last five league matches, losing four of these games. It's relegation form and it's not too hard to see why, as Leeds score 1.3 goals per game, creating 1.7 key chances per 90, but it's the defensive record that really lets them down, conceding 2.1 goals per game, 5 clean sheets in their 34 league matches. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, Man City have won each of the last three games consecutively, including the 3-1 victory at the end of 2022. A game which was frankly the epitome of domination, with 69% of the possession, outshooting leads by 26 to 9, creating 7 key chances, and had an XG of 4.41. So how do we turn this data into a selection? Because City on their own are priced at very short odds. Well, in each of the last three head-to-heads, Manchester City have been leading at half-time and go on to win the game. This is the angle that I would really like to exploit today. Additionally, outside of Leeds, City start fast, leading at half-time in six of their last seven games in all competitions, and in each of their last five league games as well. Leeds United also really struggle to defend, conceding a league high of 67 goals, including the joint most on the road, with 36 goals conceded in their 17 away fixtures. Manchester City to win at half-time and then go on to win the game at full-time will be our number one bet. Unfortunately, the odds aren't up at time of recording, but I'm thinking this will be about the uh, 1 to 2 or 2 to 5 mark. Our second selection sees 6th place Tottenham Hotspurs playing host to 11th place Crystal Palace. Spurs were once again embarrassed, this time losing to Liverpool. They were down by 3 goals to nil within 15 minutes, but credit where it is due. Spurs did manage to score thrice consecutively to come back at Anfield. Shows there's a little bit of fight left in the boys that Ryan Mason has managed to cultivate following a, a pretty drab season. However, in typical Spurs fashion, they did go on to concede from Liverpool's kickoff after their equaliser due to some very suspect awareness from one Lucas Moura. This does mean the Lily Whites have only won one in their last seven games. And statistically, they do score 1.9 goals per game and create two key chances per 90. So every time they get into a really good goal-scoring position, Harry Kane normally finishes. Defence is the issue, though. 1.7 goals against with nine clean sheets in their 34 league matches. The away side Crystal Palace managed to beat West Ham in what was a goal fest in their most recent game. The Eagles found the net three times in the first 45 and went on to win the game by four goals to three. This did break a brief streak of no win in three matches. It's a positive step away from the relegation zone. However, it's not a good sign to be conceding three goals at home. And that's something to keep in mind here. The Eagles score one goal per game and create 1.4 key chances per 90, 
defensively conceding at a similar rate of 1.3 goals against with 9 clean sheets in 34 league matches. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, Spurs have won three of the last four straight up, including a 4-0 battering of Palace by four goals to nil in January. This scoreline didn't really reflect the underlying numbers as Crystal Palace managed to create more shots than Spurs and held their own in terms of the possession battle. It was Spurs, however, who created a higher value of chances, winning the XG battle by 1.39 to 0 0.83. Make no mistake, Spurs are in a bad way, but they're going to be looking at this Palace game as something of a slowdown in pace compared to recent fixtures against Newcastle, Manchester United and Liverpool in the midweek. Spurs often shy away from the big games, but have a solid record against the more winnable home games, including a 3-0 victory against Forest, 2-0 against West Ham, and a 2-0 win against Chelsea, who are also struggling. Just don't mention Bournemouth to any Spurs fans. I do like Spurs to pick up a win here, but there is a serious question the Lily White's mentality as the season draws to a close. I think a lot of people are giving up, and Kane and Son have one foot out of the door. If you're unsure, stay away from this, but I'm going to dip my toe into the water with a half stake here for Spurs in our second selection. Our third and final bet in today's episode sees third place Newcastle playing host to second place Arsenal, and Newcastle, despite falling behind early on in the game, managed to turn the tables on Southampton, eventually going on to win by four goals to one. They are on a current winning record of three in a row, with just a single defeat in their last nine matches. The Magpies are scoring 1.8 goals per game and creating 2.8 key chances per 90. Defence is looking strong, 0.8 goals against, with 13 clean sheets in their 32 league matches. The away side Arsenal saw their title challenge fall into question in their most recent match, a 4-1 hammering at the hands of Manchester City. The bottle job is now complete as Arsenal have no win in their last five consecutive matches and they have lost control in the title race. They do need City to drop some points in order to get back into contention and that doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. Arsenal do score 2.4 goals per game and create 2.7 key chances per 90, defensively conceding 1.2 goals per game with 12 clean sheets in 33 league matches. However, when we look over the last five game sample, we see a drastic drop off in defence. Two goals per game, okay, still good. 2.25, creativity is limited a bit. But the defensive record, 2.75 goals against and zero clean sheets in their last four games. And that's definitely something to worry about. One thing which I have said throughout the title challenge is that it's all good and well when Arsenal are winning games, but how do they respond to the pressure towards the end of the season? And how do they come back from controversy? With a young team that lacks title experience, you'd have to say that it's probably a bit too much too soon. And in this particular game, I like goals. Newcastle have seen over two and a half goals in each of their last six games. And at St. James Park, there have been an average of 2.6 goals per game, with over two and a half goals coming in three of the last four home matches. Arsenal, on the other hand, have seen over two and a half goals in each of their last nine Premier League fixtures and 11 of their last 12. On the road this year, Arsenal have been involved in games averaging 2.9 goals per game, with over two and a half goals occurring in each of the last four away days. Over two and a half goals will be our final bet in today's episode. So there we go, three selections in today's episode, starting off on the Saturday, three o'clock. Man City versus Leeds, we're taking City half-time, full-time. Odds not released just yet, but we're going to take the more conservative two over five option. £20 stake to return eight. Elsewhere at the same time, Spurs will be playing Crystal Palace. We're going to be taking the home side to pick up a win at odds of about eight over ten. Half stake of ten pounds to return eight pounds and forty pence. And then on the Sunday, Newcastle Arsenal. We're thinking goals in this game. Odds of three over four. Twenty pounds stake to return fifteen. So across our three selections, we're going to be risking fifty pounds sterling to hopefully pick up as much as thirty-one pounds and forty pence. Will we do so? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to tune into next episode. But if you have made it to this point in the video, please drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. One final reminder, don't forget to check out the pinned comment for La Liga and Serie A action down below. And as always, have yourself a lovely day.